Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Reitens here from the Raiders Report, and we have the official Las Vegas Raiders practice squad. We're going to be breaking down all of the players that the Silver and Black decided to sign after trimming their roster all the way down to technically 54 players. So coming up here on the show, I'll talk to you about all of the dudes that the Raiders brought in from their practice squad today because they didn't fill it out, so they could add actually a few more names if they wanted to. And then at the very end of the show, I talked about it earlier today on the Raiders Report, so I figured I'll talk about it again because I've had so many people ask me. It was Mitch. Last time I checked, if you count, the Raiders have 54 players on their 53-man roster. So I'll talk about all of that that's coming up here on today's show. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. I'm not in the studio today because uh, I'm actually getting ready right now after I get done making this video. I'm going to go meet up with my tattoo artist. We're going to meet. where He's going to go check out the Chat Sports Studios. And tomorrow, here, live on the Raiders Report, I'm getting my entire leg sleeve dedicated to Oakland, dedicated to the Raiders. It's going to be back-to-back -back days. It's like eight hours on Thursday, eight hours on Friday, tons of special guests. So I want you to tune in and watch. All right, let's go here with the Raiders practice squad, and I'll break it down by the way that the Raiders essentially did it on their official team website. Matthew Butler at defensive tackle, so interesting name there, and I'm not really too surprised that they decided to bring him back the fifth round pick from last season. I know when I've been on this show, and I've said, you go back and look at my videos before the NFL draft, I said that the Raiders regretted drafting Matthew Butler and they regretted drafting Neil Farrell Jr. Butler was released. He's back now. Still a bit of a project player. And Neil Farrell was traded to the Kansas City Chiefs yesterday. Matthew Butler, though, first practice, practice squad player. Well, I'll say that a few times fast. Let's go to the next one. McClendon Curtis. Really stoked that they were able to bring him back. Probably out of all the names, he's up there with the guy that makes me the most excited that they were able to find a way to end up bringing him back to the Silver and Black. Next name here is Cole Fotheringham, tight end. Really showed that he had some pretty good ability during the preseason and definitely got a lot better from 2022 to 2023. So I was happy that they were able to bring him back, especially because they only have three tight ends on the roster. Not that I don't think that, but not that I didn't think that they were going to have three tight ends. It's more of a depth thing. The other thing that people really need to realize when it comes to the practice squad is this is a thing for depth. I saw some people on social media, oh, why do the Raiders sign another wide receiver? Why? It's for depth. Because if you're going to use six receivers during the regular season, you need to have some on the practice squad. Let's go to the next player here. It's Jaden Grant at safety. UDFA from this past season. And when I look at this practice squad projection, I say on the video I put out this morning, I got 75, 80% of them correct, which... Again, I knew from some because it was sources. I had a few players reach out to me, their agents, and say that they were going to end up signing. But Jaden Grant, good for him. He was a name that I did have on my list. Tyler Hall was another name that I knew that the Raiders really, really wanted to try to bring him back. And honestly, he's probably the number one player that I thought that he was going to be back on this team because of money. I do know from a source that he was offered a 53-man roster spot. I can't confirm which team that is, but I do know he was offered a 53-man roster spot. He decided, though, to stay on this Raiders team, to stay with this practice squad. Very versatile player. Played a little bit of safety, a little bit of corner. Can play in the nickel as well, obviously. Um, that's mainly where he plays when he plays corners, in the nickel as a slot corner. So he was a name, though, that I was really, really excited that Raiders were able to bring back. Let's go to Kanai Malga. Had him in my 50, or not 53, had him in my practice squad projection video. Has spent some time on the Raiders practice squad last season. Has been on the team the entire offseason. Got cut right before 53, man, and then got cut again. Sincere McCormick at running back. This one really fires me up. Good young man. Needs to get better in certain aspects, but in terms of running the football, he could be one hell of a player. Natane Moody at offensive guard. I said it was either going to be between Moody and Alex Bars. It looks like they decided to keep Natane Moody. Next name coming up here is Isaac Rochelle. Rochelle, I got the news on that probably about six hours ago. He then confirmed it on Twitter. He tweeted it out himself. Isaac Rochelle back at defensive end. I'll save the two names that are new to this roster for the end. Next name here is John Samuel Schnenker, the tight end. He played a little bit of fullback this past preseason, which I thought was interesting to 
because the Raiders don't typically do that. But to me, that's one of the reasons why they kept him, the versatility. He can play tight end, good locker room guy, but also has the ability to do fullback if Jacob Johnson ends up going down. Though, if Jacob Johnson goes down, I don't really want John Schnecker uh, out there. All right, let's go to the next name here, Sam Webb. Another name that I would say the names that I was the most excited about. Sam Webb was number one. Tyler Hall is probably number two. McClendon Curtis comes in at number three. And then Matthew Butler, four. Sincere McCormick, number five. I mean, those are players that I really, really wanted this team to be able to get and end up locking down. Next name here is wide receiver Devin Ross. USFL went to Colorado and offers you some speed here all around. Antoine Wesley, another player. Those are the only two dudes that the Raiders signed in their practice squad that weren't a member of this team before the 53-man roster cut down. And then the final name is David Agoa. So the Raiders technically could have kept 17 players on their practice squad, but only kept 14. And the reason why they're allowed to keep 17 is the exact same reason why they were allowed to keep 91 players during the offseason. It's because of the International Pathway Program. Now, those are all the reasons why you should hit that subscribe button. What I want to know down in the comments section is name a player that you wish would have been on this Raiders practice squad. I'm going to give you the number one name that I wish we could have got on our practice squad after this YouTube ad break. The number one player is Drake Thomas, and I knew that the Raiders were going to be rolling the dice when they let Thomas go. Unfortunately, he ended up signing with the Seattle Seahawks today. Seattle's going to get a good player. He's going to get a guy who's going to go in there. He's going to bust his hump because that's exactly what Drake Thomas does. Now, well, the way I want to end today's show is it describe the 54-man roster thing because I've seen it on social media so much. And this is just what it is. I don't know if the NFL is making a mistake and the Raiders are able to get away with something here. But if you look on NFL.com, Josh Jacobs is still listed as on the exempt list. And yeah, you guys might see Chuck here once in a while. But Josh Jacobs is still on the exempt list, which is why the Raiders, I believe, are allowed to have the 54 players on their roster. Because if you look at the Raiders 53 man right now, there's 54 players on it. And that's just a cold hard fact. So what does that mean? I believe once it's technically officially official, which I don't, I, from what I understand, the Jacob deal is officially official. Like I reached out to a few people and they were like, man, I don't really know the whole reason why, but I technically once Jacobs becomes officially official, according to NFL.com, it's an exemption rule then the Raiders will have to move on from a player that is already a member of their 53-man roster. All right, y'all, that's all the time that I got for you. Chuck and I are going to head on out of here. I'm going to go meet my tattoo artist. Remember, if you're looking for more Raiders videos, here are, we got you covered on the Raiders board. Luckily, y'all, I'm not sitting on the toilet this time. All right, if you want even more videos, Chuck, tell them where to go. Right here. you got to click on this subscribe button right here, and then if they want even more content, you can click my hand right over here to get more videos around the silver and black. And then if you want even more, see where Chuck's nose is? You click that right there. And then even more content straight to your home. There's a reason why we're the biggest Raiders show in the world. We got that commitment to excellence. And tomorrow, I'm getting it tattooed on me. Just win, baby.